My name is Dave Kahn, I'm the Operations Manager at Calric Audio. I'd just like to talk a little bit about what we do here. One of the things that differentiates us from other companies, I think, is that we are extremely vertically integrated. A third of the workforce is dedicated to the R&D side of the business. The other two-thirds split, really, is manufacturing and the support services. The first part of the manufacturing process is the engineering department, and that's where we actually cut metal. Uh, we get raw aluminium sheets through the front door. We have two CNC routing machines that actually route out all the panels for our modules, or make flat pack metal work um, for all the actual frame of, of the console. We're talking about sheet aluminium uh, in various gauges from 1mm up to 5mm, depending on what type of product that we're putting together and similarly uh, the sheet aluminium for the actual frames and the bar stock for, for actually making the frame legs. The mechanical design engineers take the CAD information, they actually put the CAD information down the network to the engineering department who then turn this information into information to program up the machines. Once the metalwork is completed that then goes in one of two directions. The metalwork for the front panels go into the assembly department, the metalwork for the frames go into the wiring department which we'll see later on. The second part of the process is the surface mount department where we actually populate all the bare printed circuit boards, put all the actual components on the printed circuit boards to make into the modules further down the process. The process starts with bare printed circuit boards. The first process is where we put solder paste onto the printed circuit board. We've just purchased some new machinery. Historically, we used the screen print process uh, to actually deposit solder paste onto the printed circuit board. The new machinery uses an inkjet type of technology where it actually sprays solder paste onto the, onto the printed circuit board. Once the printed circuit board has solder paste on it, it then goes into the pick and place machine. The pick and place machine puts components onto the solder pasted board. Once the process is completed, it then goes into the reflow process. We have two types of reflow here at Calric. We use convection reflow, which in effect is a large pizza oven. The second type of solder process that we use is called vapor phase solder. The vapor phase solder process uses an inert boiling liquid and the actual printed circuit board moves into the boiling liquid and the vapor actually brings the solder up to the reflow temperature. The next stage of the surface mount process moves to the automatic optical inspection where the machine looks for any missing components if components are polarized it looks for reversed components inspects all the solder joints using a, a camera to actually inspect all the printed circuit board before it moves to the final process in the department the final process in the department is called the flying probe tester this again uses similar technology to the previous process but we're actually probing down onto the, onto the surface of the printed circuit board to find any open circuits on the printed circuit board itself. Next stage in the manufacturing process is what we call the module assembly department. This is the department that puts the higher level components that the surface mount machine can't place through hole components and the like. If the production planning process has been correct, the metal work from the engineering department to make the modules, the printed circuit boards from the surface mount department all arrive at the assembly department at the same time. This is the department that then puts the printed circuit boards and metal work together to make the finally assembled module. The next stage of manufacturing involves the module test department. This is the department that takes the completed built modules and puts the firmware and software into the module and make sure that it goes through all the specifications required to complete its function. The next stage is higher level assembly. The higher level assembly incorporates the wiring department where earlier metal work built in the engineering department is built into the frame sections of the final console. Also in this department the custom wiring required from the rack to console wiring is put together any custom wiring required by the customer, the end configuration, is carried out in this department also. Once the frame is finally assembled, it moves through into the final department, which is the desk test department. The desk test department is the area of the manufacturing process where we place all the modules in the frame, then we take all the listening tests on all the final acceptance tests and specifications are carried out before it's finally packed and goes out of the building to the end customer.